Lucifer walked to the table where his book of prophecies lay open. "'A new entry in this august book, my brothers, which I share with you now, to inspire our effort. Sacred will be these writings one day, as we rule a new world.' The room was completely silent as Lucifer began reading. "'And once was the time to see, and once was the time to understand, and then was the time to build, and then was the time to command, and now is the time to act, and now is the time to demand.' And so he gave way to the host, and allowed them their freedom at last. Father, son, and ghost, henceforth from the past, thus are these writings fulfilled for all the kingdom to see. And so it is, I am like him, and so it is, he is like me. He took the book and slammed it shut dramatically startling many of the angels, and then spoke in a quiet, almost reverent tone. We are henceforth bonded together in destinies, you and I. Whatever the outcome, we shall be brothers to the end, whether in glory or in despair. We have transgressed the line of discretion and prudence. We now rise as one to a new height that no angel has ever seen, or plunge into an unknown and disgraceful abyss. As Lucifer spoke, a reddish aura began glimmering around the outline of his person. He held his hand down in the center of the table, and the other angels followed suit, placing their hands on top of his. Let this be a sacred oath and pledge together to be either creators or devastators of the new order. May we be forever revered or forever damned in this effort, eternally free or eternally cursed. The angels stood.